What's up internet? I recently picked up this Bluetooth 5.0 Bluetooth dongle. This has EDR which stands for Enhanced Data Rate and is also low energy. I know that Bluetooth 5.0 has a lot more features than 4.2 but I'm curious to see how much faster it is in terms of controller performance specifically in terms of latency. In this video we're gonna put Bluetooth 4.2 and Bluetooth 5.0 to the test and compare the performance. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is test the input delay for Bluetooth 4.2. So I've just finished entering the Bluetooth 4.2 numbers and the lowest I got is 46 milliseconds and the highest is 77. On average I got 54.4 milliseconds. Now let's get on to Bluetooth 5.0 to see if it's really faster. Let's plug this bad boy in and let's put it through its paces. I've just finished entering in all the data for Bluetooth 5.0. So the lowest number I got is 36 milliseconds and the highest is 66. Consistently I'm getting around the mid 50s to high 40s. On average I'm getting a 53.4 milliseconds of input delay for Bluetooth 5.0. Now let's compare this to Bluetooth 4.2. So for 4.2 we got 54.4 and for 5.0 we got 53.4 so it's just a one millisecond difference which is practically the same. This is not the result that I expected. I expected Bluetooth 5.0 to be a lot faster. If not a lot faster, just faster. It's practically the same. So I finished the video and concluded that practically the speed between 4.2 and 5.0 is the same. But that doesn't seem right to me. I want to make sure that the sample size is large enough so that my data is accurate. So instead of doing a sample size of 20, I'm going to do a sample size of 50. That's an increase of 30 extra inputs. And I think with 50, that's a little overkill, but I want my data to be as accurate as possible. So let's see if an increase in sample size will change the result. So I finally finished entering in all the data for both Bluetooth 5.0 and 4.2. So I added 30 more inputs, makes it 50 as you can see here. And I'll say this, with Bluetooth 5.0, the numbers are a little more consistent than 4.2. 4.2 is all over the map, so I get numbers as high as 90s and as low as in the 30s. Whereas Bluetooth 5.0 is a little more consistent. Usually is in the 40s or the 50s. You see that? So for Bluetooth 5.0 I got an average of 5179. And then for Bluetooth 4.2 it stayed the same as the previous result which is 54.66. So in the end we have a difference of less than 3 milliseconds. Bluetooth 5.0 is ever slightly faster than 4.2. Is it worth the upgrade? If your system already has it, then go ahead and use it. But I wouldn't upgrade just for a few milliseconds of increase in speed. Going into this, I really thought that Bluetooth 5.0 would be a lot faster than 4.2. But the speed increase is very, very minor. Alrighty, that's it for me. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more. Have a good one.